what's up guys mark here from vip shop management uh, i get one question a lot is how to uh, leave a deposit on an empty estimate i mean i definitely don't recommend that because basically the customer you get in piece of paper like uh, legally you're supposed to build an estimate first and then add the deposit but that situation still happens when you know the customer was like here's a hundred bucks i'm leaving the deposit and and i i haven't left i haven't built the estimate yet so let me show you how to do that in the best way possible like i said i really don't recommend doing that unless you have to do that let's select the customer select the car and let's assume this customer want to leave us a hundred dollar on a three hundred dollars job so first of all when a customer want to leave a, a deposit uh, basically somehow you gave him an estimate verbally i'm assuming because they're not leaving a deposit um with nothing like you know like he gotta know what's the total so you gotta add a note here and say uh customer left a deposit of a hundred dollar assume on a let's say five hundred dollar job i mean i'm not saying this is legal of doing so but the whole process anyway i don't think it's legal anyway but let's let's move along and let's say where we where, how how can we put the deposit in in an empty estimate uh because as far as i know you're not supposed to put a deposit on an empty estimate it doesn't make any sense but let's say authorize well, let's say we're going to authorize i mean there's a dollar here let's just remove the dollar too so let's say we keep it as zero and authorize and authorize so so far right now we have an invoice that it's zero 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 and uh, we have a call we have a note that saying customer left a deposit how do we collect that hundred dollar um we can come in here and say deposit um let's say a hundred dollar let's leave it taxable because basically we need we're just trying to collect a hundred dollars right here so we just come in here authorize and we're going to say deposit hundred dollars just for the note authorize and we're going to click on pay we're going to type in a hundred dollar and we're going to say uh, whatever say you pay most likely is going to be paying cash pay and we're going to come back here and delete the deposit so by doing this process you can see there's a payment of 100 first of all the balance the total is zero um there's a payment of 100 dollar and the balance due is negative 100 dollar so if we print this let's see how would that look like so there's nothing in it, it says no customer left a deposit of a hundred dollars on a five hundred dollar job i think you still have to specify what what's the total what is the total of that estimate uh, bear in mind it's still going to be estimate just because you left uh you, i think you should, should say still say this is an estimate because the the five hundred dollars could be six hundred you still don't know uh some states are really strict about that and they, they will not approve that whatsoever fyi because they want a detailed items on the five where the 500 dollars came from uh keep that in mind in the end you gotta do what you gotta do um that's gonna be on you so at least in this situation you can see the total is zero there's payments of 100 dollar and there's a balance you do negative 100 so the customer can see that um he did it's a proof of that he made uh, a payment of of this much uh, again i don't recommend doing so but you could i mean you can start building it here and you can see like you know at least the payment's already there and he can pay the difference um other than that uh, the, like i said i don't really recommend it you're supposed to build the estimate first authorize it. the legal way of doing it is building the estimate first try to build the estimate to the best of your knowledge and then change it later but that's the legal way of doing it but if you want to do it this way um, at least that's how would you do it anyway appreciate it guys until next time thanks for watching